guys, welcome back to the channel. So, as you can see, we're back in the garage. So obviously today we're gonna build something. Now, I did put out a little short video on uh, my mouse trap jaw jacker, and there was quite a bit of interest on seeing a build video. So I'm going to show you guys how I built this, but we are gonna change some stuff up. I wanna make it a little bit better than this. I want it to be able to fold up a little bit better. Uh, I still find that this folds up a little bit too big. And instead of making this part wood, it's actually going to be made out of PVC for longevity. So, stay tuned and let's go through the build. First I'm going to show you everything you're going to need for this build. Alright, so here's going to be the components. Now, I, this is a piece of shower, old sh shower rod. Um, you don't have to use this, you can substitute it with pieces of wood or a uh, smaller PVC if you really wanted to. Uh, these are cut to 20 inches. Now my piece of PVC that's going to go in the middle, that is cut to 19 inches. And then you need one piece of wood for the base. I'll give you some dimensions. So this one is roughly 5 inches by 4 inches. Then obviously you're going to need a mouse trap. You're going to need two uh, quarter inch bolts that are two inches long, four flat washers, two lock washers, two nuts, and then on my jaw jacker that I had, I placed um, a rod holder in it, but I'm just going to make a rod holder on this one out of PVC that I've already cut to the angle that I wanted it. So you can see here. So this is already cut to the angle that I want. Uh, other than that, uh, you're gonna need some, some wood screws and uh, a little nail for the mouse trap. All right, so let's get building. So first step is you're gonna heat this uh, piece of PVC right up. And what we wanna do is we wanna soften it up we're actually going to smush it right flat. It's actually the, one of the techniques that I use to make uh, my PVC bow, which uh, you, I will uh, make a video on soon. Alright, so I ended up putting this reflective material down. It's going to help uh, heat it up a lot faster. You can just use tin foil. I just had this kick, kicking around in the garage. So you'll see, look, look how soft it's starting to get. When it starts getting that soft, you'll be able to shape it really easily. So it's starting to get really nice and soft. You also don't want to burn the PVC either. The PVC I'm using is an uh, inch and a quarter um, schedule 40, so it's the really thick stuff. I'm sure the thin stuff might work as well. Alright, that's pretty good right there. Just pop this off, be careful, it's going to be really hot, you can probably use some gloves. Uh, and then I just take a board, and since I'm a big guy, I can just put my body weight down. I mean, you can make a, a little jig and, and clamp it in place. And you just want to smush this down until it sets. So, there we go. Nice and flat perfect for what we need to do with it. This is not too perfect, but that's okay. All right. So, as you can see, I ended up cutting this PCB, PCB down. Now that tab is actually gonna be uh, oh, four inches. You'll see why I did this in a minute. So, cut it hold. Some one and a quarter inch screws. And there we go. So that's the start of our base. 
Now, what I'm going to do differently this time too is on my other one, I put the pivot point up top. But if I lower the pivot point to about here, what's what it's going to do is I'll be able to pivot it open like that and then pivot it closed like this. So I'm going to take my measuring tape and we're going to go to the four inch mark. I'm going to mark it because that's where I'm going to drill my hole. And with this side, mark it. I'm going to drill my hole. I'm going to take my center punch. So since we have a quarter inch bolt, I like to go uh, one drill size bigger, which is 17 64 The other one. piece here like I said just kind of hold it to where you think that pivot points gonna be nice right so if you even have to come back here I think that'll be pretty awesome right there so all I do is I'm gonna drill a bit and mark that and then same thing with this side you can measure it, but I like to just see how it sits personally. So I think that's going to be a good pivot point right there. There we go. So we got our two pivot point holes. Let's drill them up. So now I'll just put one of your small washers or big washers. That's just what I had. So we're gonna go like this. Through. If your wood's thicker, you might have to go to a longer bolt. This one's gonna work perfect because these end up actually squishing down a little bit when you tighten them up. So you'll see. Flip it over. So those are barely coming out, but that's fine. You know, I tighten them down like this. And then I'll suck them in a little bit so it just bends this uh, the metal poles underneath. So one thing I'm going to show you guys about PVC, which is uh, what makes it pretty awesome. So you see how it's all bent right there, right? It's not laying flat with those bars. Well, that is a very easy fix. Just take that heat gun again. And then uh, start heating this. You don't want to get it as hard as last time. You just you want to bend it back. You don't really want to uh, get it soft enough to melt. So there you go. She's all set in place. And actually, I cut off a little bit more of it. But now you can see that folds up real nice and displays out real nice. Uh, what I like about these is you can actually put snow down on, on these and it uh, gives a little bit more stability of the hole. All right. Now also this, this length of PVC might change for some of you guys depending on the, on the length of rod. This is just the length that works for me. So you might have to play around with that. Hey. And if you guys are, are liking this build up to this point, don't forget to hit that like button. All right, so next step, this one's pretty easy. We're just going to attach our piece of PVC right there. So, so just make sure she's centered. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come down, a little angle, probably like this. And then, I think the same length of bolt or screw that we used before. There we go. Work nice. So there, we got the basic shape right there. That actually makes a really nice rod holder just the, the way she is. We are going to add 
the mouse trap. So you want to add it right at the end, just like so. I like to I like for it to overhang just slightly. What we're gonna do pre-drill two holes. This is just to hold it in place. Then I just have some little three quarter inch screws that I use for this. So there you go. All right. Now what you want to do is you want to take your kill bar. And you want to see kind of where where it sits. I like to put a little mark right about here. So now what you're gonna do is take a little nail. There's my kill bar line. I want to put the the nail right about there, and you want to put it off to the side of the, the setting trigger. So take it. So you just want this nail to sit about uh, about an eighth inch. Basically, what you want is when this kill bar is down and being held, it's sitting just below that kill bar. Don't see why. So now what I do is I take my little grinder. All I did there was cut the head off of that nail. Now what I also like to do is right on the front, I'm just lift this up, the kill bar up, is I like to cut just a little groove so that's where your line's gonna be sitting. So, there you go, just a little groove, that's where your line's gonna sit. Um, that's basically her. Um, so, I'll show you guys how it gets all set up here. I'm actually gonna take off this hook because I don't wanna get a hook in the finger. So, what I did is I put a little piece of wire uh, just on the end of the fishing rod. Now what you're gonna do is, is you're gonna set your kill bar. You're gonna set it just like you would a regular mouse trap. All right, so lift up the little cheese the little trap tray. There you go. So you set it just like a regular mouse trap. Now what you're gonna do, oh that nail might not be long enough. Is you wanna snake your line underneath and that little wire is going to go on that nail. Then what, do you, then what you're going to do is you're going to take your, your line and you go with your line right over the little trigger there and then you put it through the groove, let it sit in the water, hang this over the hole. Now when a fish comes through, it's going to be like, oh, boom. So oh, there it is guys, super easy DIY jaw jacker. I mean this took me a whole whopping 35 minutes, cost me very little. I mean I've already had all these pieces sitting here. If you have to build it yourself, you can easily build this for under 15 bucks. So don't go out there, don't spend $50 um, on a store bought jaw jacker one. Realist, this is so easy, packs up so nice and uh, yeah, you made it yourself. You can say you caught a fish with something you made. I mean, that's one of the greatest feelings. So, to everybody that's still here at this point, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe down at the bottom. We'll catch you guys on the next one.